Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison and I am a struggling high school student going to an outreach school to finish school someday. My dreams and goals would be either go to old college to study equine reproduction and become an equine reproduction vet technician or Vermilion College, or if I don't get into either, major in environmental science studies at King's University in Edmonton. Those are my goals, and I'm here to share with you. Anyways, today's video is some tips for me on how I study or how I do homework. So I hope you guys follow along with this video enjoy it and the ring light is back for a little bit if you guys hear some outside noise my window is open because this is one of the how one of the reasons that help me study because i like to let cool air in while having a candle that can burn out easily near the window all right guys well anyways let's get into today's video and i hope you enjoy so tip number one I have for you guys would to stay organized and a way I do that for myself this year is by having two different binders. So let me grab those. How I do this is this here, this big white one, is my main binder for science. So what I do is, after I finish a module or something in my school for Science 10 C, I like to take out all the ones from the last module and put it into a new binder. So this is my new one, my uh, other one, where I have module two sitting in there and everything from that a module in that binder just to keep organized and then in this one I just have some stuff that I need like the subscripts and prefixes like one is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, and then five is penta, on and on and on. Then because module I'm doing now is acids and bases and I have to tell if my I can't say this word, but mo molecular, molecular substance, ionic substance, acids, or a base. So I have to tell between those. So I have that. Then we just have my notes. And they're all pretty plain because this is just my notes for school. But I will later in this video show you guys how to make your notes at home I don't recommend doing this at school but at home to make note taking more fun so stay tuned for that and a way I keep my notes organized is by putting them in date so because we had a very long weekend this starts as April 20th 2021 and I put the class that it is so science 10 C then I put acids and bases, and then I put, if I need to remember it, up here, underline, and whatever I need to remember, and put that, and then I put examples and underline. Always underline headings or make it so you can tell what it is. And then I have the practice on the back because I was for a test. I also, if I do multiple notes per day, I put the page number here you can't see my ring light is a little too bright so i might turn that down a little so i hope you guys can kind of see so page number date is april 26 2021 and science 10 c then i go down properties of acids and base that needs to be underlined and i didn't do that and then a lot of people i see when they take notes they just start a new they just write their notes one thing to help you with your note taking personally for me but i think it will help a lot more people take their notes better is as you guys can see kind of is i skip 
a line and I start with a dot on the line. Doing this helps you read your notes better and I feel like when you do this, the dot starts a new line and then you write out what goes there. If it's still the same, keep writing. I might have to close my window. I'm so sorry. Um, kids are screaming. Um, but with this is like, if it's on the same sentence, keep going like one to the next line, like one, two. But if it's two different sentences, skip a line and then write your new line. That's a way that I help. So with this one, it's got page one. For acids and bases, and it's defining bases, indicators, and pH. And then page three. Then page four. So that's how I kind of keep it. And then it goes to my new notes from today. So it just kind of keeps it organized where it's in order. And helps with what I'm doing. I wrote three pages today. Then I have some notes my mom has made. And then I have a whole bunch of line paper here that I keep organized in my binder. And then I keep that going and going. Hi, Mokes. Oh, hi, Mom. There's your hole punch. <laughs> Come on, Mokey, out. Come on. Sorry, my mom just kind of interrupted us. <gasps> Oh, now she's barking, but whatever. Then I have my schedule. So this last week I did acids and bases, acid base module lab quiz. Then I have to do page two, three, and four, which I haven't done yet. I need to do that, so I'm going to do that today to catch up. And then balancing five and six. I should be doing that. I'm going to do that also hopefully tonight too just to catch up and then 8 and 9 this week and then I have school again on Friday. So this all just kind of goes together of how it like works out. Then I have just other paper that is like from the test. If it's on a blank paper I just put it near the back because it's more notes. Then I have the module book. That's how I organize. You guys can organize your book a different way, kind of similar, but this is what helps me stay organized. Then I have my new sheet of all the polyatomic ions. Hate it. And the other stuff that I don't need. Then I have textbook one, textbook, book and then textbook too I ripped it apart so I could find the pages easier and then I think that's the whole textbook and we're at the back and I just have random little things down here but this is how I personally organize my binder and to keep it easy enough for me to put it all together like I said you can put it all together a different way, but this is just how I put my binder together, if you understand. So, that's just the organization of my binder. And another thing I would say, if you have hole punched pieces of paper, when you get home or if you're at school, grab one of these. Um, I have to do it still myself, because I have some for my other binder that need to be hole punched, but everything's dropping out of it. So I'm gonna hole punch this with it later and put it in. So I hope you guys understand that part and yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. So this next park, park, part is things I like to have on standby personally for when I study. So if you guys don't know, I have two phones the one I'm shooting on right now is my iPhone 11. This is my main phone. And then, let me grab it. This is my damaged iPhone 8 Plus. Um, if you're wondering why it's damaged, it's cracked down here. And I just keep it for things I need to search 
or if I want, I like to watch either Pretty Little Liars, Grey's Anatomy, or some movie from my childhood maybe, because those are always fun to watch, like, you know, childhood, they're kind of boring, but like, listen stuff in the background. Or YouTubers that I really like, like This Is How We Bingham, or any other family channel that I like, but it's not many, so it's like really hard to like something. And I just use that to have something to listen to while I do my homework. The other thing I do is I keep a charger. The charging cord, I don't know where it went, but it's on a long line because the, this is the only plug in my wall that works. Apparently on my phone, my phones are very fussy and like charging cords break a lot for some reason for me. But anyways, yeah, um, just so I have a charger if I need anything to charge, if it's gonna die from searching too many things up. Um, another thing I have to stand on by is to text someone, email a teacher, or call my mom because I might need help. Most times my mom does help me, but... Tonight, I don't need that. Um, we're gonna study with tonight together, but this is just for the video for now. So, yeah. Basically, that's why I have them and the hole puncher. Those are things I like to have on standby. Another thing I like to have on standby is snacks, preferably low calories, like this is 80 calories for our Rice Krispie bar. And then I have a pop over there are the Pepsi that has got no calories in it. So yeah, those are things I like to keep on standby for myself. Another thing I like to keep on standby, well not really standby, but like if you can't tell what those are, yeah, the markers, fun things and all my favorites not really but yeah I like to have colors to make taking notes at home more fun and a way to do that is by just changing up the color every once in a while or making different things different colors and or adding stickers to your homework like lightly or like doodling on the side a little bit to give it its own little personality and it just makes it more fun it makes it like easier and it just kind of gives you kind of like oh look homework is colorful like make it fun make it your own don't like make it like how a teacher would expect you to have it make it yourself like be yourself on your homework like i know like saying this being yourself with colors and coloring on your homework isn't really what teachers want but making it more for you for fun is kind of a thing that you can do and that's another thing I like to do when I take notes if I'm doing it on my own is make it fun and colorful so I have all these colors here and it's just easier for me to have some fun with my homework um or listening to music like you could do that too I guess and it just kind of makes it all little more fun i'm now drawing on my hand with these whatever but yeah we kind of do that anyways the next part of this video i'm gonna show you kind of how i like to take notes out of my textbook and make it easier for me personally to understand my homework and i hope you guys enjoy this video so far because this is like really hard to film for some reason I didn't think it was this hard to film videos, but apparently it is, so stay tuned for this whole video. It's going to be long, but whatever. So this next part, I'm going to show you how I personally take my notes out of my binder. So basically what I'm going to do is pull out my lined paper if I reorganize my binder today to make it easier for this video and now I can't find anything <laughs> um 
and also kind of make it easier for myself. Also, if you haven't noticed, I lowered the camera because my back is hurting. So it's just going to make it easier for me to sit while I make this. Anyways, what I like to do is grab a couple pieces of paper, like this much. It's not much, but whatever. And flip to where I need to be. So my homework for tonight is on page 84, 85, 90, and 91 to a 94 in your textbook for that. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to move to those pages in my textbook. So yeah, let's find it. I really want to know what page these also this textbook starts at. Um, cause I'm, that's a lot of paper in my book. Okay, it starts at page four and ends at page 100. Oh my god, that's taking up so much room, but yeah. And I'm still trying to find it. It was what again? Oh, uh, yeah, this page for tonight. Um, I am going to put my binder there. And then I'm going to grab my second binder that I was using earlier. I'm going to grab my paper and I'm going to put it on like this so I can write on it. And then I'm going to pick a color. I really love this pen, but for tonight, I'm going to pick a green one and see how it works. So I can take one of my favorite pens that I have seven of or something and see if I can make a new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write science 10C at the top. And then underline it. Then I'm going to write page one dot dot and then the April 27th 2021 so I wrote that in green another thing I like to do is take another color so I'm going to take this pink and I am going to write this top thing that distinguish or whatever what I'm writing about my notes on. So this one will be recognizing and describing chemical reactions. So I'm going to write that and then I'll quickly come back. So now I have written the title of what I'm doing. So you can see I've written it and now I am going to pick a new color and I'm going to kind of organize these from pens to markers and I don't know if that's a pen or a marker it's a marker it's a highlighter I put my markers over here and my pen over here so I've done that and then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my binder and I'm going to highlight some things that would be assistance to my note taking and then I will be writing in these pages so yeah I will do that I'm gonna pick a pink like I just wrote in and I will show you guys how I do that and then I'll come back and kind of explain why I do this.
of the reason why I highlight things is so it makes it easier to know what I'm going to write out. So I have highlighted two things, well more than two things because I'm highlighting something again now because I forgot it when I was recording but that's okay. Anyways, so that's what I'm going to write out first and then I will come back and this video I'll show you how I wrote it out and yeah I'm gonna play something and kind of show you along the way and then I'll come back okay hello everybody I'm back I took a very long break because my back was very much hurting and I just needed to clear my head because of everything. Well anyways, I had like two of these today and I shouldn't have and I have a Pepsi so I shouldn't really be sleeping tonight so I'm gonna catch up on some homework and I'll finish my notes and go to bed late. Probably at 3.30 in the morning. But anyways, this video is getting continued tomorrow morning or whenever i wake up and then i'll probably play some star stable but i hope you guys are kind of enjoying this video and i'll try to video a bit more anyways i'll see you throughout this video and tonight and maybe tomorrow and then i'll upload probably late tomorrow night i hope you guys are enjoying i know it's a long video i'm gonna edit my best and thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next clips. It is 3.19 in the morning, 3.20 in the morning, whatever time it is, something like that. I have eight pages of notes done, two or three pages in my booklet complete. I don't remember what I have to complete up to, but like, I'm playing catch up and I just I need to go to sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow when I wake up, whenever that is, to kind of go over more of this video.